Hi Leo, welcome to this reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more if Leo is your Moon or Rising sign. Oh, we have the Tower and the Two of Cups in reverse. So some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, you could be a Scorpio, but this person is saying they've been through something, they're going through something, and they're coming out stronger and, in their opinion, better than ever before. The Two of Cups in reverse, this is um, a soul connection, it could be like um, soulmates, a, a twin flame connection, um, at least as far as your person is concerned, and they understand that right now maybe things aren't the best that they've ever been or the best that they could be there's some work that needs to be put into this perhaps you're you're um both seeing things from a slightly different perspective but this person is saying i still feel this connection and um i want to work on this they could have recently had a massive epiphany or a moment of awakening and understanding about this yeah look the lovers and death wow so gemini and more scorpio energy there Oh, did I say happy St. Patrick's Day if you are watching this when this video is released. Okay, so spirit, messages please to my viewer from their person. Let's see. Okay. So we have the Seven of Swords, Six of Swords in the reverse, and we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So was there some kind of deception or inauthenticity in the past some kind of lie even your person not wanting to face their shadow side um being a bit slick a bit smooth a bit sly trying to keep on a mask not just for you in this connection but for everybody around them being afraid to show you know their real self here i feel for some of you this person may have pulled away they may even have physically gone somewhere um, and they're making a U-turn, they're coming back around, I'm hearing 180, so like a 180 degree turn, um, because wherever they went, whatever they were doing, even if they didn't physically go anywhere, if they pulled away in their mind space to try and get a sense of peace and clarity, what this this pulling away has done, it's made them realise that they're not happy without you, and remembering now that two of cups that came out, and you are the person they want, this connection is well worth them, um going through the trouble of looking into their shadow side healing wounds um possibly i'm hearing losing people so there might be your person might be surrounded by other people who won't accept them for the real them and your person has tried to avoid losing people up until now yeah the devil in reverse absolutely okay so they are there are some things that have got to go people behaviors um, wounds that have got to be healed you know whatever this is for your person and they're doing it they're, they're moving through this it's definitely not easy for them but the thing is it hasn't been easy for either of you you know while they were covering up pretending everything was fine not being honest and authentic so you know this is the alternative and your person has finally seen that this is a better alternative than ignorance or willful ignorance we have strength in reverse strength as i'm sure many of you know is the only card in tarot that can overcome the devil so to have them coming out side by side is actually kind of magical here and you see how they're both in reverse so i feel that your person has not completed this journey yet but they are moving through and they will find success here with strength coming out so we've got capricorn we've got leo energy in particular Leo, obviously, uh, Leo season is around August, and um, so I'm thinking of August, but Spirit is telling me for someone the name, specifically August, is, is relevant. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. So, I, you know, I, I'm already seeing this isn't necessarily a predictive reading. It's supposed to be their message to you right now, whenever you're watching this. But Spirit is showing me that once this person comes out the other side of this really deep inner transformation, they're going to be looking at you and hoping to have a new beginning here, something passionate, something fiery, something exciting for the both of you here. If previously, if this has been um, a very emotional connection, or even if there have been emotions that have been repressed or not, you know, haven't been discussed, Spirit saying, the next time around, this new cycle is going to be action oriented here. It's going to be focused on, on movement, which actually I'm sure many of you will be happy to hear. Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, look at this. This is insane. We've got the Seven of Swords, 
with the devil underneath and underneath the devil in reverse we have the nine of cups in reverse whatever your person has been doing however they've been showing themselves to you to other people it's just it's been so miserable they have not been happy they've been living a lie um and they're saying no more i can't do this anymore even if i thought this was going to be easier i can't carry on this way Okay, six of wands in the reverse. So possibly they're battling their ego, you know, that the constructs they have, the paradigm they've been working within. It could be the ego in the sense of they always want to win, they always want to be right, they always want to have other people's admiration. And we have the five of cups. That sort of did a twirly thing. So let's leave it on its side. Which tells me your person is they have been struggling they've probably been spending time um in the recent past feeling low regretful looking at the, the mistakes they've made the problems they're facing the obstacles this connection has to overcome and they're starting gradually as they do their own inner healing to feel more positive you know as they find solutions within they're seeing okay it's not as bad as i thought and if it is tough i know i can do it i know you and i can do this together so basically starting to become more positive and feeling like this can turn around now this isn't the sort of transformation that happens overnight i think they may have been working on this for a while and they've still got a little bit to go but that's kind of good because if i was seeing something here <clears throat> that was saying to me they're going to be, you know, transformed and feeling wonderful tomorrow. That might seem unrealistic. This tells me they're not trying to cut corners. They're really taking step after step after step. You know, um, they're doing this properly. The, the changes they're making now are going to last, which is definitely something, you know, that you guys want and deserve in if you're moving forward in a connection with this person. If you decide, yes, this Ace of Wands, we can have another go here. OK. We have the Knight of Swords. Um, I'm hearing Gemini and Aries. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Leo here we have the three of wands and the sun in reverse okay this person seems like they're trying to manifest a way to talk to you and I can feel some of you laughing saying they don't need to manifest a way they can just pick up the phone or come and see me um, but they seem to be saying I need to manifest the right way the right time maybe they want it to seem like it's an act of fate here with the wheel of fortune they want to, to be in the same place as you at the same time you know they don't want to seem like they've orchestrated something here um i'm hearing serendipity in my head why do they why i don't know why it, it feels important to them that they want it to be this way tell me more about the wheel of fortune please the magician in the reverse we have the Hierophant in reverse on the back, Taurus energy. This magician in reverse, this is almost like it's it's kind of this this sneakyish behaviour playing out. Remember how I said they were slick and smooth at the start? I'm seeing it here again with the magician. It's not negative, but it's almost like they're saying, well, if we just happen to meet, that's going to be better than if I reach out to you because it's going to convince you Um that this connection is something special that it's meant to be. So I don't know what they've done in the past, but they seem to think that because of whatever's happened, whatever's played out, if they just approach you, you're going to say, no, not interested. Whereas if you feel like it was an act of divine intervention, you might be more inclined to give them another chance. I mean, that's kind of long winded thinking. And I don't really feel that you, you would need to feel like it's divine intervention, you know, hearing from them. Um, Maybe this is talking about some, some self-worth issues, feeling like that it's not good enough if they just approach you as themselves. So yeah, as I was saying, they've still kind of got some work to do, trusting themselves, trusting the process, trying not to manipulate everything here, even if they're not manipulating it in a negative sense. 
Let's see what they want to say to you. There's some clarity they want to bring. It could be about your future here or their hopes in terms of what they want to manifest with you. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, please. We have Sagittarius energy as well. Three of Swords. So two threes. They could want to talk about possible pain because of a third party. Maybe they want to apologise for causing you some pain. Yeah, Page of Cups. That can be an apology. I think this person actually wants to talk about you know what's gone wrong the pain they've caused maybe pain that they felt as well so this is good this is mature this is someone as i said they want to take the proper steps they don't want to cut corners um before you move forward they want to resolve some things here there's a fresh wound either that you have or that they have that they know needs to be discussed okay so let's move on to some oracle cards and then we'll do some channeled messages okay messages please from this person to my viewer or from spirit to my viewer about this connection i keep hearing aries aries the god of war so i don't know if some of you are, are really really angry at this time um, about this or something else or when your person comes towards you or wants to speak about this past pain perhaps it's going to annoy you at first trigger you and then you'll both move past it we have balance love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it a great relationship is one that both support and challenges okay and i definitely feel there have been some challenges here in the past and your person is saying i don't want these challenges to be the end in the past they did feel that it was the end with the five of cups and now they're saying actually I'm starting to understand that immature connections, we can discuss a challenge and we can move past it. Maybe this is the first time for your person that they've had this kind of a connection. Maybe with other people, it was an immature situation. And if something happened, they would just separate or things would get worse from that point because no one would discuss it. OK, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Now, this message from spirit comes out often in my readings when, um, you know, someone watching is really beating themselves up, saying, if only I hadn't have done this or if I had have done that or if I'd have done this at that time, not this time, you know, and spirit saying there is no wrong move. Everything is unfolding as it should. So if you feel like, well, it was all fine until I sent that message, spirit saying, well, the reason you sent that message is because something needed to be highlighted and now this can be worked through. So please don't beat yourselves up. There is no wrong move, even if it seems like it in the moment. OK, spirit, more messages, please, from this person to my viewer. say there's a song in my head i'm going to um i'll put it in the description box and i'll pin it to the comments because i i know i'm not going to figure out what it is so um actually let me make a note of it before i forget okay so we have i'm really bad at commitment yeah i think in the past your person they may well have been in commitments they may even have been you know, in a commitment where they've had children with someone or um, they've married someone, but it doesn't mean that it was a healthy commitment. And I actually don't feel like it was. OK, I'm just doing what I have to do right now. Now, normally for me, this card will talk about um, 3D responsibilities. This is saying your person is saying I'm having to go through this deep inner um, transformation. I'm having to focus on my healing, my inner work right now. So if I'm distant, um, that's why. But I know I have to do this for us. I can't skip corners here. Cut corners. <laughs> OK, what else, please? I feel too much pressure right now. So feeling too much pressure, maybe, you know, from themselves, the pressure to change, to heal. I don't feel, I don't see you guys putting any pressure on this person whatsoever. And I don't feel that they are telling me that you're putting pressure on. In fact, I think you're giving them all of the room, all of the space that they need. And this is helping because we see that they are desperate to come towards you to tell you something. You know, because they're not feeling crowded. You are special to me, even though I told you otherwise. Yeah, so they may have 
directly told you that you weren't special, this, this connection wasn't important, or they may have showed you this through actions, you know, that they didn't really care. And this could also be someone saying, I regret the fact that I had chances to tell you how I felt, but I didn't. Instead, Three of Swords, I caused pain. And now, Page of Cups, I've got to apologise for this. And I don't know if this small apology will be enough. Exactly. Is it possible to forgive and forget? I'm sorry I couldn't follow through with my promises. So they, you know, promised you something through words, through action, through intention, and they didn't deliver. Okay. And we have, am I good enough for you? So there are some of those self-worth issues, that, that sense of, I want our meeting to seem like divine intervention. I don't want to just reach out to you because you might feel like that's not um, enough for you. Okay, so let's get some um, descriptors here, some signifiers, so some confirmation for you that this is, is about your person or some extra info about what they're going through. We have marriage. So yeah, for some of you, this person is married. They could be married to a person. It could seem like they're married to their job or some belief they have, some passion, and they, they put you second or maybe third, fourth, fifth, you know, but they definitely didn't make you feel like you were important. If this is talking about an, an actual marriage with another person, I don't think it, it has, been, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't think it's been a healthy marriage. I don't think your person and this person they are or were married to have been able to see eye to eye. I don't think there's been healthy communication. There's probably been um, like passive aggressive behavior, silent treatment, lots and lots of repression. And look, this person obviously thought they were good enough for this other person in their unhealed state which kind of shows you what they think of this other person, um, but they know they're not good enough for you in that state. They've got to level up. We have lives alone. So maybe someone was married, but they've moved out. They're going through a separation. They're living alone now. Maybe your person just does live alone and that's confirmation. Ah, lives with others. How funny. Okay. So something here possibly about a transition, but you know, in terms of their living situation from living alone to maybe um, moving in with some like housemates or something. If they're struggling as well with money, they could take on a lodger. It could be the other way. They lived with others. Now they're living alone. OK, in a relationship. Night owl. So someone who goes to bed late or they're having trouble sleeping at the moment. Maybe your person is up late at night doing some deep thinking. Maybe that's the only time they have to themselves and look struggling financially. For some of you, and this is going to be a very specific message, your person may have had to have, um, may have taken on a lodger or moved in with, with other people for financial reasons, especially if let's say your person was married and living with people and then they moved out but they knew that in the location they wanted to live they wouldn't be able to afford somewhere on their own for now or something like that this could also be someone who maybe is um, like a student living in living with housemates for that reason um I'm hearing a nursing program again. I know this came out recently. I don't know um, if, if maybe because of COVID or something, people who are going through a training program to become a nurse, maybe living in the same like accommodation space. I don't know. Okay, yeah, see, rents a home. Someone's living situation has gone from something permanent to something that's more transient, you know, owning a home to renting a home. Someone here feels like, it feels to me that for someone, your person is saying, I'm too old. I've, 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 you know, I've, I'm too far in life to just now be moving in with housemates. So someone is a bit self-conscious or upset about having to be living with other people at this time. Mm, okay. So what else, please, Spirit? They might be saying as well, if they leave, <clears throat> excuse me, if they leave, if they move out, they're going to have to, to share a home. And that's not something they, they really want to do right now at this stage. Ah, 
Yeah, highly sexual. I mean, we can just uh, assume that this, the appearance of this card is a given in these messages readings. It always comes out. So this person is, is very attracted to you um, physically, emotionally. Maybe you challenge them mentally as well, and that's exciting for them. Um, your energy could be very attractive to them as well. We have practical, so this could be someone who is very practical in the way they think of things. Um, if there's a problem, they look for a solution. It could have been that could be something to do with why maybe they've struggled with this connection in the past. If they have, because it's not maybe practical. In fact, it might be entirely the opposite of practical, but um, it's still here. It's not something they can run from. It's not something they can create a plan to work through. We have active, so someone may be very sporty or busy here. This person's mind with practical being, you know, solution focused um, is very busy. You know, practical, active, we have night house, so do lots of thinking. This could also be someone who's really trying to figure out a solution to a problem here. Feminine, masculine, balance. Okay, good. So coming into balance, coming into union with themselves, also wanting a balance in this connection, because remember, we have this card from Spirit about balance. Again, understanding for the first time that a good relationship doesn't have to just mean repression and smiling, you know, to each other and the outside world. There can be there can be conflict or confusion or disagreements, but it doesn't mean it's unhealthy. It's how you work through it. We have judgmental. So this person, you might have experienced them being judgmental at times. And I feel this is the influence of people around them. They are surrounded by some people who are very judgmental. And those are the people that are probably going to fall away once your person starts to speak their truth. We have a dreamer. And we have spiritual and or religious. So you could be dealing with someone who has this spiritual side. You could have helped them go through a spiritual awakening, um, especially if, if you're you're kind of the more spiritual or awakened person in this dynamic. Um, I feel this person is now starting to dream about possible new futures here. That might be something, you know, that they keep very hidden. Maybe they haven't even told you about this side of them that's dreaming and, and is becoming more spiritual or religious, but you can kind of pick up on it potentially. Okay. So let's get some more channeled messages from your person to you. And then we'll finish with some channeled messages to you from spirit. So any guidance or advice. We have, I dream about you. Look, a dreamer. This person is literally daydreaming about you and the future you could have, the things they want to say to you. I'm hearing the places they want to take you. So maybe they have somewhere that they want to show you that's important, whether it's like um, a park, a restaurant, a, another country. Um, and, and this person could be dreaming about you at night. You could be in each other's dreams. we have I'm going to call or message you this is the thing I think giving this person their breathing room is exactly the right thing so if you've been doing that I think keep going because this person is um is making an approach towards you now what I would say is this is a general reading so if that resonates with your situation great if if you're saying no I really think I need to reach out go for it you know don't put this reading above your own intuition This will never work. Wow, let's see what they're talking about because it's definitely not this connection. This will never work. What will never work, please? Is it their inauthenticity? Um, is it keeping judgmental people around them? What is it, please? We have, do you feel the same? I underestimated you, insecure. I hate your partner and we have date night. Okay, so this person could be saying, if you're in a relationship, the viewer, how are we going to get past that? They could be saying they have some insecurities, some issues with jealousy here. They've got to fix that because it's, it's creating a problem. Um, but look, see, this isn't, they're not saying your connection will never work because they want to take you out on a date night. And that could be that message of um, wanting to show you something or take you somewhere to a nice restaurant or, or something like that. Let's just clarify with tarot, this will never work. 
five of cups yeah so this is when they're in their lowest moments that energy we saw them coming out of saying well i'm not good enough you have other options um i'm a jealous person you know that's when they're in a bit of a self-pitying mode i don't think that's how they feel overall and we have prostitution coming out so more often than not this is your person saying i feel that i've been you know uh sort of pandering to what other people want from me like I, i'm quite good at manipulating i know what people want and i've been playing up to that but i feel like in a sense i've been exploiting myself in some way and um <clears throat> you know maybe i've been getting good results but i'm not happy with how i've been achieving them something's got to change we have overpower me so maybe they feel like what they're going through is quite heavy quite intense and sometimes it would just be nice to sit back and to be told what to do whether it's by you or other people and that goes with this five of cups energy you know when they're feeling exhausted low but that's a, that's a temporary energy we're crazy together so this person is saying you know we bring each other the most joy passion excitement but we also stress each other out cause each other you know pain like no one else but again it's all about balance and it's about how we deal with this moving forward okay so let's get some messages to you from spirit <clears throat> so spirit what are your messages of guidance advice insight please for my viewers in terms of this connection okay well i'll show you what we have i won't take all of these but we have it's time Okay, so if you've been waiting for something, maybe a message, if you've been waiting for this to move forward, if you've been waiting to do something, Spirit's saying, yeah, it's time, especially if you've been feeling those nudges. Oh my God, and we have not yet. Oh, how confusing is that? Wow. Let's keep going, and we might need to clarify. It's time, and then not yet. What on earth? That's not helpful. Oh, and we have give it time. That's crazy. All of these messages are about time. It's time, not yet. Give it time. Maybe this is how you're feeling. You know, you're getting confusing messages from your, your person. You're back and forth. We're all ears. So spirit saying, remember to let us know what you want. We can intervene. We can help. We can give you signs. We can release, release and relieve any of your burdens here. This could be some indecision possibly on your part or your person's part saying, yes, it's time. Actually, not yet. I think I'll see how things go. Maybe I should reach out. No, I'll hold back. The spirit's saying, well, we're listening to all of this. So, so, you know, what's your choice here? What do you want to do? Okay, we have three to six months, another timing card and get clearer with your intentions. This is really specific. So there's something, I'm so sorry. Stop. There is something going on here with timing. So, okay. Let's have a look. So right now is a time frame in terms of whatever you're thinking about or asking about. We have three to six months, which for some of you might seem okay. For others of you, it might seem too long, depending on what this is and depending on how long it's already been. But what I can say is if you want to speed up this time frame, Spirit is saying, please get focused, get really clear, even clearer than you have been with your intentions, not your intentions as they were maybe three to six months ago, your intentions as they are now, because sometimes they can change and we don't even realize it unless we check in to see. Because if if there's some confusion, some hesitation, or you're pushing forward and then you pull back, I think that might be messing with the timing and spirit saying, if you can be really clear with us and let us know what you want, we can speed this up for you. That That's crazy. Not all of these cards are about time and that's you know all that came out here. Okay, so I will leave this here. I'm going to do the one question, one card reading now. So if you would like to enter your name for Friday's reading, please leave your question in the comments and I will enter you into the draw. It's all unbiased. I put your names into a computer program. Um, if you're heading off, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you again um, in the next reading. What else? There will be an extended reading for this if this is telling your story and you'd like to have something extra. But otherwise, I will clear this away and then do the one question, one card. OK, so today's winner for the one question, one card is Monica Riesman. 
Rexmin, R-E-C-Z-M-I-N. I'm sure I've mispronounced that, but um, okay. <laughs> so let's have a look at your question. So it made me laugh. Have I been fooled or is there some kind of philosophical madness that keeps him stuck? So you're saying you haven't talked to M for months. Okay, spirit. Can you show us, has Monica been fooled or is there some sort of philosophical madness that is keeping M stuck? What is going on here? I have this intuitive feeling that this message is not going to make sense to me, but it will make sense to you. So if that's the case, that's fine by me. I'll just pass on what comes through. Okay, so what's your message? What's your answer, please, spirit? So what would you like to say to Monica? Has she been fooled? Is Anne going through something? We have justice in the reverse. The page of wands. Ten of Swords, and we have the Three of Swords. Wow, okay. So there's a lot of pain here. We have the Five of Swords on the back. So in answer, <laughs> in answer to your question about philosophical madness, um, I, I don't know about philosophical madness. That might be extreme, but I can definitely see that your person, M, is confused, conflicted internally in his mind space at the very least. Um, I feel he has, I'm, I'm not saying he's fooled you, but because of this confusion, you haven't been treated fairly with justice in reverse. And both of you have experienced incredible amounts of confusion and pain and sadness here is what I'm seeing. And at the same time, you're saying, well, if it was just that, I would leave this alone. But we have this page of wands. So you may have even begun a journey together, or if, if you haven't started to walk this path together, if this hasn't become concrete, there's definitely this potential. And so you're saying, well, how does this Page of Wands energy, this enthusiasm, joy, excitement, <clears throat> align with this dark heavy ten of swords three of swords energy well it doesn't but yes your person is very confused conflicted in his mind and that's why everything is coming out together so let me have a look at justice in reverse <clears throat> we have awakening judgment okay so this is going to get balanced karmically and in the 3d as well whether it's through um your person taking action to rectify things or spirit intervening. I also feel that this has been a catalyst for your person going through this awakening. So all of this confusion, I want to say don't take it personally or try to take it, you know, as as non as unpersonally as you can. Obviously, it's personal because you're involved. But um, this back and forth, this excitement with, with this heavy energy all mixed in together, it's not a reflection of his feelings for you, it's a reflection of his, his state of mind internally. Tell me about this Five of Swords, please. Yeah, Seven of Cups in the reverse. Lots of confusion here. Your person might even be scared to allow himself to dream, to hope. So he's shutting down opportunities with you before they even begin. I think I should get you some advice here. Okay, Spirit, what is your advice and guidance for Monica, please? So have you been fooled? No. Is your person pretty confused? Yes. Um, have things been unfair to you, though? Yes. Advice, please, for Monica Spirit. Strength. And actually, it's called fortitude. So Spirit might be saying you have the strength to keep going with this if that's what you choose to do. And you definitely do not have to. And perhaps Spirit's saying you are also growing through this connection, even if it doesn't seem like it at this time. We have the Five of Wands reversed, the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of passion here, potential for passion, potential for a passionate journey together. But emotionally, I don't know if there's not, there hasn't been any discussion of the emotional side of things. Your person is confused about his emotions or isn't good at being emotionally expressive. 
I kind of feel spirit saying, stand up for yourself, set your boundaries. It's good to have passion, but I feel you also need clarity and you need to know where you stand in terms of his feelings. And that's not too much to ask. And if it is, I mean, that might be an indication that he's he's not ready for this. He's not the right person, that, that you kind of deserve something more. Um, okay, so is there passion? Definitely. But I think spirit saying the advice is stand strong. Um, <clears throat> don't be afraid to to say, I'm not going to be one of many, I want to know where you stand. And it's not that you're making demand of him, like, I need you to fulfil this Ten of Cups. It's more like you're saying, I'm strong enough, confident enough to know that if you're not in this energy, I will meet someone who is. So can you let me know how you feel, whichever way? It's that kind of a thing. So this does feel kind of intense. Um... And I think Spirit's saying because of that, it's important to stay strong and and have your strong, firm boundaries in place to protect yourself a little. I, I feel that your person is excited, is passionate about you, but he seems to have a lot of conflicts going on internally that he's got to resolve first. Because this injustice cannot continue, whether it's intentional or not, you know, deliberate or otherwise. Okay, so um, yeah, I hope that helps. I, this is not a permanent energy because I see he's working through something, but I think it's going to take a while longer. So um, do keep protecting yourself in the meantime. Okay, so I will leave this here. Thank you so much, everyone. Take care and hopefully speak soon. Bye.